They say the harder you grind, the longer you shine. But it ain't gonna come easy, it happen all over time. If you ain't in your zone, then you falling behind. So until the day I'm gone, I put it all on the line. They say the harder you grind, the longer you shine. But it ain't gonna come easy, it happen all over time. If you ain't in your zone, then you falling behind. So until the day I'm gone, I put it all on the line. Put it all on the line. I'm trying to get it, you can see it in my eyes. A young king reaching for the skies, but I never surrender. I'm trying to live before I see the other side. Just cause you breathing don't mean that you alive. Cause I seen people die. I seen people live. I seen people lose all of their time doing bits. I watch niggas spend all of their time in the crib. Getting drunk or getting high because they blinded by fear. And everybody say they grinding, but who's grinding for real? Cause when a nigga make it out, ain't nobody gon' chill. And when you're back against the wall, let me doubt you still. But fuck them all, it's my purpose that I gotta fulfill. I'm here to do the impossible, push through all the obstacles. The sky's the limit, nigga, it ain't nothing stopping you. If you won't be a champion, then don't do it for the rings. Just stay down and believe, it ain't nothing more important than your dreams. Cause real kings got their family living large And he living out his dream So he finally quit his job His pocket's debt free So he finally get the ball If his homie get locked Then he got him with the ball It's time to learn the ins and outs to the game To leave a legacy Way more than a house and some chains So when you go Then you'll know you won't be burned in shame Because you left something to carry your name They say the harder you grind The longer you shine But it ain't gonna come easy It happen all over time if you ain't in your zone, then you falling behind. So until the day I'm gone, I put it all on the line. They say the harder you grind, the longer you shine. But it ain't gonna come easy, it happen all over time. If you ain't in your zone, then you falling behind. So until the day I'm gone, I put it all on the line. Put it all on the line. Find your purpose. What is your life purpose? Is you working on your life or spending your life working? It's time to roll the dice, but niggas is quite nervous. Scared money, never been the type to make the right purchase. Gotta take a risk. You can't be scared to take a hit. When you make different decisions, you gon' see a major shift. Watch what Knowledge and wisdom classifies a man to be great. He do what he can to keep his family straight. But through it all, just make sure you keep your sanity straight. And don't contribute to the factors that could damage your race. Cause everybody want the power till they snatch it away. Going through hell when that cell door slam in your face and you get them years. And your homies disappear. What you, you don't wanna end up here. Nah. So avoid that situation and just keep your vision clear. Live with a purpose and stay away from the circus And it ain't no easy route You just gotta put the work and get right I'm here to give you advice Try to get up out that darkness Learn to live in your light But it ain't gonna be easy You gotta put up a fight Just take flight and reach higher Let your fire ignite It's about that time Get that doubt about your mind Don't be scared of the change But what it's worth If it hurts you gotta cherish the pain Cause when it's all said and done You won't perish in flames Because you left something to carry your name They say the harder you grind The longer you shine But it ain't gonna come easy It happen all over time If you ain't in your zone Then you falling behind So until the day I'm gone I put it all on the line They say the harder you grind the longer you shine, but it ain't gonna come easy, it happen all over time. If you ain't in your zone, then you falling behind. So until the day I'm gone, I put it all on the line. Put it all on the line. Then I ain't gon' spend it Heard they was coming, they sense up defenseless 
bitch. Ain't nothing personal, bitch. It's just bitch. The blueberries got shooting heads. Being black is dope. Police is super ass. We get blamed for crimes. Can't avoid the lashes. Pass the prayers. Never make it past them. They made you black and left you stuck with it. No kumbaya, nigga. Fuck forgiveness. Don't forget oppression. Don't forget the lynching. Still have to pop like the way in prison. So who the fuck want the smoky smoke? Like cigarettes. I open up and throw. Niggas can't be falling for the okie doke. Every time we ride, they try to give us dope. Run them out the block like Freddy Haynes. Run him out the block like Freddie Haynes. Run him out the block like Freddie Haynes. Run him out the block like Freddie Haynes. Resiliency is a trait that is often overlooked, but it is one of the most important qualities that a person can possess. Resiliency is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to keep moving forward in the face of adversity, and to persevere in the pursuit of one's goals. It is a characteristic that can be learned and developed, and it is an essential attribute for success in life. In life, we are all faced with challenges and obstacles. Some challenges are small, while others can be life-altering. How we respond to these challenges is what sets us apart from one another. Resilient people understand that setbacks are a part of life and that they are an opportunity to grow and learn. They don't allow their setbacks to define them, but instead, they use them as a springboard to propel themselves forward. One of the key components of resiliency is optimism. Resilient people tend to have a positive outlook on life, and they believe that they can overcome any obstacle that comes their way. They are not blind to the challenges they face, but they choose to focus on the positive aspects of their situation. This positive outlook helps them to maintain a sense of hope and to stay motivated, even when things are difficult. Another important aspect of resiliency is the ability to adapt. Resilient people understand that life is constantly changing, and they are able to adapt to these changes quickly. They are not afraid to try new things, and they are willing to take risks in order to achieve their goals. They understand that failure is a part of the process, and they are not deterred by it. Instead, they use it as an opportunity to learn and to grow. Resilient people also tend to have a strong support system. They understand the importance of having people around them who believe in them and who are there to support them when they need it. They are not afraid to ask for help when they need it, and they are willing to offer help to others when they can. In conclusion, resiliency is an essential quality for success in life. It is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to maintain a positive outlook, to adapt to change, and to have a strong support system. Resilient people understand that challenges are a part of life, but they do not allow them to define them. Instead, they use them as an opportunity to grow and to learn. So, my dear reader, Seize. You know they don't grow unless you plant them, you know? But at the same time, you gotta water them too. So remember that. Water your seeds. Communities need structure and order Since they don't get it, I'ma give it to my son and my daughter I'ma show herself love and how to not get extorted by nobody Respect your body and make wise choices You can change the whole world, it's all yours, not a portion I promise to give you love no matter your life choices Don't let no man hypnotize you, learn how to avoid And when you're pregnant, don't let them tell you to get it aboard I raise you up showing traits that you never will forget I promise to protect, give you love and respect So when you find your man, then you'll know what to expect don't ever let nobody give you less Don't want to control you, I'll expose you to what you came to do You're so powerful, strong and wise, just to name a few You the most hated, they all take a name at you Cause they know mankind came from you, and that's the truth when I have a son, I'ma show him he's the one That the power's in his mind, ain't no power in a gun To kill a man, that's something that a coward would've done Cause he weak, and he never had power in his punch Listen, you gotta get it, don't be looking for a savior The word comes now, but the fun comes later Cause I done seen some people who had big dreams Turn 50, still doing the shit that they did at 15 Still chasing women, hoping that they get him. You can catch him partying or on the block, drinking liquor, damn. Because he never found his own purpose. And he don't know his potential or itself. He needs some soul searching. 
But I'ma give you the rules to survive The knowledge to withstand and the tools to provide I look into your eyes and I see myself So it's okay to express what you're feeling Or if you need some help to my mother and pops, I'm thankful with all you showed me. All the trials and tribulations, I let them mold me. Still, I stand as a man and never broke me. Ambition, hustle, and focus, that's what you showed me. And mama. I know you dealing with drama, all you do is give and I just want to give you your karma As a kid I was the outcast living with trauma To be that sun that shine on you though it still is an honor And to my dad, we getting that bond that we never had It's better than the past so I'm glad, plus I'm proud of you Using your mind to overcome your addiction So nah, I ain't holding nothing against you, you a strong person To find myself I did some long searching With my parents the connection is there but the bonds hurt. Finish this verse up as I drop tears. Because I realize this cycle gotta stop here. See? up in my veins, you know how we bleed, you ain't gotta lie about who we is, dog. just keep it G, we at war, we can't keep the peace, since we at war, gotta keep the peace, whack a cone, then I meditate, should I need to breathe, keep an Omec head when we slide, dog? cause we the shit, 
Like my nigga said, bitch, we the shit. I can't keep the peace. If it pop off, then I want a piece. I'm just on release. I'm in go mode, motherfucker thief. In these streets like EBT, when we at war, make peace with me. I don't give a damn, understand. Fuck who stole this land. Why the black or tan? Understand this fuck who stole this land. Might have seen me get little buddy these hands. Who wasn't no Apple man? A lot of these dudes is Sambo man. They full of shit like my ammo can. What they call a N word out the wrong mouth as an ambulance. Wild Indian, get it in advance. Or you can post date it. Ask around, I'm the most hated. Straight sacred, they so acres. No ape shit, show ain't shit. It won't be televised, I don't tape shit. Niggas going through the same shit Ever since a youngin' I've been running Getting to the cake Dog, you ain't a hundred, this a hundred Let me demonstrate If she ain't got brains, then I ain't tryna penetrate And if you ain't a stand-up need you You could get your dinner ate I ain't buying all that real shit Dog, you benefit To go on a dinner date Now we on the interstate Might be a rookie in the game But I've been a great And we about autonomy, dog We ain't tryna integrate Say you shoot, what's your resume? Proof, drilling shit, where your gang got? Let me see your troops getting money, pull up stunting on them. Let me see your coop. Genocide, they pointing weapons at you. You don't even shoot. Real nigga, how you say you real? You don't love your peeps, family man. Ryan, feed your family, nigga, fuck the streets. Sliding on each other when the government the enemy. If we come together, we got power, nigga, in the beef. For real, nigga, in the beef. You ain't getting money, ain't no reason to be in the streets. Striving to be legends, we ain't trying to be a memory. And now you ain't my nigga, you my Niji Aborigine. Shout out to all the American Aborigines. Chief Eaters in the building. Aboriginal TV is in the motherfucking building. The God of the Geechees is in the motherfucking building. Top of the morning, balance of the evening. Hope everybody's doing well this grand rising. What's up, gang? What up with it? What up with it? We got 82 people in the building. I'd appreciate if y'all would hit that like button. If you haven't already, share the video out for me one time. You know what I'm saying? Got something nice for y'all today. Got something nice for y'all today. Let me see. Let me get some shout outs to the tribe. Let's get some shout outs to the tribe. Get, let me get here. I see Lord Hanma in the building. Tyrone in the building. Tyrone, I'm grown. Don't be asking me where I'll be at, nigga. I'm grown. God damn it. Empress Goddess Namaste in the building. <laughs> Arise of Aboriginal. Big Chief. Fuck you, too. In the building. What's up, gang? Smoke in the building. I see Miss Geechee God in the building. I see my sister PG. Balioso. What's up, gang? Jay Woke in the building. I see y'all in here running the lights up. God damn it. Run these numbers up, man. I ain't even 
I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of humbly asking. Fuck it. I'ma just demand man. Like, I'm getting the I'm getting the sense that thou who don't one who does not demand won't have shit in their hand. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is the forty second Proverbs of Geechee, goddamn it. Okay. Shout out to Yon Run in the building. Aboriginal Mary Guy in the building. Black Wolf, what's up, gang? Divis Clan. Good to see everybody in the building. Roger W. What's up, OG? And now, Risa Lopez. What up with it? I see Sister Bethy in here. What's up, Sister Bethy? Mound City Mellow. Nonetheless, is in the building. Y'all in here. Heavy, as Tariq would say. We in here. Heavy. Real heavy today. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Shout out to the FBA brothers and sisters if y'all in the building. Shout out Chief Serpentine, the snake god in the building. G's, Skull Kill, River Punch in the building. M Brown in the building. 203 Low Gang in the building. R.L. Smith in the building. Yeah, we in here real heavy today. Dre Cobb's music is in the building. Piggy, but I don't even know what the hell that is, but you in here too. I'm sure you and a lot of other trolls. Uh, who else I see? Who else I see? I don't want to miss nobody. My sister, y'all need to, y'all. CJ Rock in the building. Let me see. Chris Jackson in the building. M. Brown. Divins Clan. I think I got you already, but it's all good. Make sure I got you. Antonio Bryan. Kevin Gilbert. What's up, gang? Make sure I got everybody. Y'all come on out them bushes. Y'all come on out them bushes. Shout out Lex B in the uh in the building. Peace God. The realest N word alive. Run them likes up, goddammit. We got 62 likes. And 92 in the building. Something ain't right. Somebody fingers broke today. Any other time I say some shit you niggas don't like, y'all fingers gonna goddamn be on creatine. <laughs> What well, was it gonna be thick, goddamn strong, goddamn fingered ass? Shout out, goddamn J uh, Johnny Aberhart in the building. What's up, gang? Bobby Two Fly, what up, gang? I see Camo Joe in the building. Peace to the guys. Hope everybody's doing well, gang. So, yeah, man, y'all know I've been going on safaris and shit, going on red safaris and shit, seeing what I could scramble up. I was just kind of understanding the psychology and the understanding of people who don't necessarily agree with, you know, my understanding and perspective, which is totally fine. Like, that's one thing I'm not worried about. Like, I am solidified and sound in my methodology that I utilize. So, like, you know, if one if one brings a superior methodology that I can actually apply and utilize, who would I be? To motherfucking like not acknowledge and admit that that methodology is superior. That would be stupid. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just make sure my shit tight. But anywho, I've been, you know, yeah, I've been doing red safaris, gang. Yeah, yeah, red safaris. I've been doing red safaris, uh, uh what they say, avidly. <laughs> Quite avidly, <laughs> as as we are lately, and I wanted to show y'all something, man. I, I found some natives in their essence, gang. I found them in their pure essence. They gonna show y'all that y'all not them. You y'all wish y'all could be them. Actually, like the 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 style. You know what I'm saying? The grace you wish. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on, gang. See, TikTok different. I got to watch TikTok. TikTok will just change your video and shit. Okay, here we go. Here go, Lou. Hello. I knew it was acting stupid. Hold on. 
Hold on. Because I could tell when it's acting stupid because I don't have access to the motherfucking screen. As soon as I share it on StreamYard, and then I don't have no more. Look, 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 look at this. Look. Hold on. So right now, right? What the fuck? Kind of weak, janky shit. So right now, right, it's paused, right? You can see I can make it big. Right? All that, right? Now, I can do, I can function it, right? Everything work. Now, as soon as I take my ass over here and do this. Oh, it's going to make a liar out of me, I guess. Which is cool. It's cool with me, as long as it works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as it works. Let's see if, game, if it worked, though. No, nah, run that back, gang. Don't. It's only seventeen seconds. I need this to work one time. Y'all can see that. It's freaking out, though. Oh, I wish you could see me, girl. Oh my God, I wish. I could see. <laughs> of course, they hate. I guess we can only read books on here. I mean, I got the video. The video is fine. It's the. It's the interference between the two platforms, I believe. <laughs> she said that ain't no real footwork. <laughs> Wait a minute, gang. I can't even get it to play right one time. Look, I can't even get it to play right one time. I swear, gang. Gang look like he looking for some damn meth. Yeah, that's they call. That's the great. That's the great meth rock scoop. That's a very forbidden dance right there. That's the Greek meth rock scoop. It ain't getting no better. Hey, that's a hey. That's the meth rock scoop. You know why I keep breathing, eh? It's the interference. Hold on. I'm going to show you. It's the interference game. It's the interference gang. Like, what you mean? Why is freezing? Nigga? We don't want we the most censored little baby channel on the goddamn tube. You don't know why? Nigga. You where you be at? You be here? Maybe it'll work better this way. Maybe it'll work better this way for us. Uh -huh. It looked like it was going to work too. Somebody come and get a little tanner. Y'all got Tanner out here looking crazy. Somebody get Tanner out here. Y'all got Tanner out here. But it's funny because it, it almost looked like he was trying to do this right here. It looked like he was trying to do this right here. Jacksonville. 
Keelan Cole with his third of the season, and what a drop by Mitch. So are we saying that the gritty is like an indigenous dance now? Oh, is that what we saying? These people be hating like hell. These people be hating like hell. I'm gonna go sit this on. I'm gonna go get inside of the uh. Oh, I think I know what's wrong with. Hold on. I think I might know what's wrong with. I think I might know what's wrong with it, gang. Because my computer is hot as fuck right now. Which means. We know how good old, uh, I hate to say it in front, in front of certain people, but we know you've ever been on a panel, any sort, using a certain streaming software, um, you know, it tends to pull all of the life out of your phone battery and any phone in the vicinity of that phone, potentially, battery. Yeah, yeah, it's going to try to get that, too. Um, <laughs> like, gang. <laughs> and, then they'll t and then they'll be trying to talk to you like, hey. How old is your phone? <laughs> well, what model number is it? Did you make sure that it had the proper amount of copper inside of it before you actually turned on the phone? Like, what? Did you try to restart the phone? Did you call your carrier provider to see if the phone actually was manufactured properly? Did you do any and everything other than blame it on us? Please, just try any and everything except Blaming it on us. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's their motive, like uh, and that's what they own. Tyrone said he got a Samsung fold up. I guess that means it's the new new. <laughs> you got the you was one of them people that went and bought the touch screen that fold up like the old the old phones, Tyrone, they got you. They hit you. All right, gang. TikTok natives. We got a whole nother squad on TikTok too, gang. Y'all don't even know yet. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see what time it is. Y'all gonna see. It's about the cows of the Ogichi though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep double tapping that screen. Run them numbers up. Run them numbers up. Let's go to 10,000 likes. Share this out to your favorite Native American. I'm on y'all ass today. Y'all locked up. So is it so y'all want me to take a DNA test? This is written by the colonizer, but you don't want me to use this video. Huh? That makes sense. Huh? Did, did, did Native Americans create DNA tests? Is there a Native geneticist I can go to specifically to have them do genetics on my DNA? Hmm? Hmm? See, when somebody always telling the truth, it always go to who hurt you. <laughs> As if I'm lashing out. I'm having fun. You... You in here paying attention to me. I'm paying. I'm getting paid. 
Thank you. Max. Oh, we boy. I don't know about y'all. Ooh. It's like that. You see that shit? Like how? Hold on, hold on. I'm 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 going to come all the way out. I'm going to get I'm going to come all the way out. I'm going to come all the way out of shitty shit shit. Again. We're going to come all the way back in shitty shit shit. Again. Yeah, I know they over there. I know them zesty pirates over there. I got some footage from over there right now too. Yeah, I'm always I'm always on the hunt. Now I just gotta figure out how when I get the footage to you know react to the footage live. I gotta figure out how to do that properly. How to how to actually get the, the system that's supposed to give you the ability to do what it do yeah i get that to work that's all once i get that to working it's we good we gucci over here i ain't paying i'm receiving i'm getting paid thank you for the uh the three mics that somebody sent in we appreciate it. double tap that screen i'm getting y'all paying attention to me and I've been, Tayshawn, how long you know me? For a while, huh? Uh-oh, he got kicked off. He got kicked off. I was about to say, Tayshawn know me for a while. I've been doing this shit longer than y'all been on TikTok. I've been doing this shit for a decade. In the public. Teaching in the public space. Educating. I've been hypothesizing. I've been doing my own organic research. I don't know how we didn't smell this. Oh, we didn't smell it. You just said that. If you can prove did. to me that DNA is a valid method your ancestors is, then we can talk about it. We got a new person, a purified drink o water. What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? I just wanted to see what the text was. I couldn't see, and I wanted you to slide I'll it down do. a little bit. All good, my sister. All good. Can you see the first part? I got the things right Yeah, there. I was just going to try to Google some of the words and I could find it that way, but I couldn't see a full sentence. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, that's great. Great. Thank you. I appreciate reading this stuff. You'd be surprised you how much you can find on... Um, the archive.gov stuff don't be hidden mm -hmm. for real it'd be right there in your face you just gotta look for it and know what to look for but anyway um, well let me ask you real quick before you leave let me one question mm -hmm. okay so you can see what it says screen at the bottom where it says the ancient black nations of america okay. you see that <laughs> From your understanding, I don't know you, you don't know me. I just want an organic understanding of this, right? Mm hmm This, right? Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to say this is fake? Are we supposed to say that this is propaganda? Like, because this, this is a book that was written prior to Reconstruction Era, right? So, um, like, of course, the, the, the history that you read about before Reconstruction is going to be different than the Reconstruction right. 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 So when we go back and look at older books that give us a different understanding of what America was in its entirety than it is today, right? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of native things that this book is hogwash and we shouldn't be able to utilize it. So I just want to get your opinion what the text says. It makes reference to several different black peoples, black nations in the Americas, and it even says that there are many black nations in the Americas. Now, <clears throat> what are you supposed to deduce, deduce or what would you deduce from reading this yourself? Um, so I would say that for one, as far as like the indigeneity of black persons and native American persons, like, you know, I think it's odd that everyone thinks that all native groups are the same. 
and that just because you're native that that means we're a part of your nation because we say we're indigenous you know that's that's kind of like being in Africa and saying I'm African and then people who are indigenous to Ghana are saying you're not African that's weird cuz I'm could be from Kenya that's wild that she would say Perfect. that to me yeah so in that regard I think that that convoluted. Um, I also think, you know, as far as this text is concerned, I think it's odd that they're calling it Black Nations because what does that mean? And why mm. are they calling it Negro? And then they're saying Black Nations all in the same sentence. Because I think from my perspective, it's like this, right? from the history that we've been taught, right? And the understanding of perspective that we've been taught, right? There, there couldn't have been no black nations. You know what, you understand what I'm saying? We haven't heard, you can't name one black American nation, can you? But see this book, this book gives you a, a clue that there potentially may have been many that we're not hearing about. You understand what I'm saying? So- I, I know, I understand that. I also understand that we, the whole argument is usually based off of a very um, Western, you know, version of, of of history where we assume that people weren't traveled work because, mm-hmm. you know, we ha- everyone to some degree believes, oh, well, no one was traveling and traversing the waters except for the European. Not right. only the, is that not true, it doesn't even make sense because... The Europeans were, A, the first place they went was South America. And I'm like, that's super out of the way when you could have went up north and reached Greenland rather quickly. And you don't need massive ships or 30 days. You didn't need all that. So I think it's a little suspicious in that regard. And it's just a little bit of a sign that people are still coming from that perspective where they think that couldn't no one of other races could have existed anywhere else except for where we were taught that everyone existed. I also and they know never, they never acknowledge I just want to say this they never acknowledge the fact that the information that we're receiving is from the same people that they're claiming yeah. is doing the colonization, right? Yeah. And the goal yeah. isn't really the goal isn't really to help you discover your history because they don't discuss like, I feel like it would be helpful to, like, especially from the Native side, it would be a lot more helpful if they were more expressive of the different groups. But all the groups aren't talking. It's just the few that want to talk. And contrary to what our propaganda is in America, is that they're completely erased. Like, I don't believe that. I, I meet Natives on a daily. So why would they all be gone? And a lot of them live in a lot of states where I live in Colorado there are native groups out here but there's a lot more up north and I feel like you know it would be more helpful to kind of hear from everyone but even if you don't want to talk about like from the native side because I couldn't really I can't really speak on them because I don't know too much about them but at least from like being African-American like I I am familiar with the diversity of Black America just on the East Coast. And that alone should be a sign that even amongst that diaspora, that there's so much diversity and everyone has different histories. So why do we not take that same principle and take it around the world? There's Black people in every nation in the world. There's Black people and Indigenous people. I'm sorry, go ahead. They want us to believe that there were Black people everywhere except America. Yeah, and that's super weird because they existed literally everywhere. And I just, like, to me, I find that weird. They'll even, like, discuss how there were Aboriginal, I don't want to say Aboriginal, but there's Indigenous Australians, right, who came up from, you know, Australia, island hopping or whatever, and they were in South America and they migrated along the southern you know plains and came all the way up to northern america they'll have that conversation but they won't they will say oh but there were no black people here i'm like that's wild that you would have that conversation 
So well, when we look at you can, tell, you can tell that they're not having a genuine conversation. It's not. It's not genuine at all. And um and I don't blame anyone. I, I don't blame native people. I don't blame I don't blame anyone because most people just don't know. I just think it's like I, I blame them. I the, from the from the people that I've seen over the years. And the unrighteousness in which you humble people allegedly, at least that's supposed to be a part of our culture, right? Being humble. Like I've actually spoken to the big Native American chiefs and shit like that. And they do not hear the same sentiments as you TikTok Native, okay? I'm just... That there's a fit the story that they want to believe that they have came to and so it, like I've to the big Native American chiefs and shit like that, and they do not hear the same sentiment as you, okay. There, I'm just letting you guys know what what it seems that a bunch of dis called in people or what they're claiming, right? Who are not connected to the tribes, but they see that there's another people who look like they just want to believe. So it bothers them. To see other people claim their indigeneity, right? Even though, right, most of the people on this planet, some form or facet, are descendants, or pretty mm -hmm. much all of descendants of indigenous people. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what is the what is the argument? So, so e even in the term indigenous. And the fact that they think they own it shows a lack of anybody new on channel too. I want to uh, welcome you. What's up, sister Nini Locks in the building? You can uh, speak hey, whenever. What's going on? Please, sister. Yeah, I just wanted to just touch on something because in the comments on a test, and that's the only thing that they have to hold on to because they don't have any records. They can't trace their families back or. Even after the founders and the scientists have said several oh. times that the tests are entertainment only, that's the only piece of information that they have to use. They can't come up with no type of nothing to debunk anything that we're saying. I have to make me think of it. I really am. Mm -hmm. They need to I mean, but see, this is what they'll try to say, right? They'll use the colonizers' hypothesis that all people came from Africa, right? But don't that mean y'all too? Exactly. Tell us we, but y'all not, even though y'all come from, according to y'all colonizer, from the Africans. See, what we're trying to show you. They can't is think that, that far. <laughs> you said they can't get that far ahead. <laughs> Clearly, no, they can't. I mean, it might be. You can't. Evolution. Did Native American history culture teach you about evolution, or did you know your napkin colored daddy? I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah. I think I think that if people want to come back, you know, especially people in the comments, they're saying, "Well, what you're saying is a lie." It would be easier for you, not you, the OP, but comments it'll be easy went and found and tried to 
find books and texts that are um, contrary to it so that you can prove your point. It doesn't make any sense for you to be just getting rid of but, you know, you don't Oh, if it's untrue, you're simply denying it because you don't like the color of you know, the people who are saying it. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it boils down to. And what they're not acknowledging, yeah. and what we've seen in the culture of South America is a culture of blanqueamento, of a culture of with shit on the dark people, mm-hmm. the light people. Like, like, let's stop the cap. Like, y'all want to talk about culture, let's talk, talk about blanqueamento, which you practice in Latin and this code. That's the part of y'all culture. Why? Well, I think it's super odd when people, when different ethnicities hate skin. It's super weird because it just, it doesn't really make sense evolutionarily just doesn't make any sense just kind of very having to do with you know the propaganda wise in your cultures and america has the issue as well because you know, that within our own american culture where people are like what they want to marry lighter or have kids with lighter skinned people for the very same reasons well it's because they into all of america during colonization, yeah. right? And the yeah. remnants of that is still right today, right? Even though they'll act like it's a bunch of people right now acting politically correct like they like black people and they can't stand them. You know what I mean? But it, it is the way to use the resources from the so-called black community, right? So now at a certain colored people was specifically for so-called Black Americans, right? Mm-hmm. Now, people of color can be any uh, a racially ambiguous person that feels like they went through some shit. You see what I'm trying to say? So they're changing the understandings and the meanings of what things are right in front of our face. 20 years ago, I couldn't be a man and a man couldn't be a woman. Now, today... Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I, and I, I had this friend in high school and I was a predominantly black so my best friend was this kid and I asked him I was like how come you don't grow your hair out and he's just like what and I was like well how come you don't grow your hair out and he was like well, I just we don't like to and I remember like talking with him later on and i found out that he was actually just australian like indigenous australian but he looked black like the rest of us and i remember going like that's why you don't grow out your hair because you have um his hair was like almost straight right he got straight hair so i became almost obsessed with learning about i was like that's me how come you look black but your hair is a little bit different and like so I was l- trying to learn about culture, baby. Let me say this real quick, right? <laughs> See, this is what the United States government and other corporations have done to our community, right? They highly, they get us to highly undervalue our contributions of culture to society as a whole, right? Mm-hmm. And by making us hate our own culture, right? They send other uh, phenotypical people who could easily, uh, you know, blend in because the term black doesn't necessarily distinguish anyone, right? African American mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily distinguish you or say your bloodline or tell anything about your history, right? It's a blanket term that utilized as uh, supposed to be described and of people who went through a street this right is that allows other pe- people who aren't really from from see black americans have a culture like jazz that's a part of our culture right, right. a big house that's a part of our cu- culture right there's certain um models and principles and customs that were taught by our ancestors 
right? Today, that's our customs and traditions. So what they'll do is they'll send somebody who don't have the same culture around us, right? And they get to play black and learn right so now you have one or two to three generations of people doing that and now what used to be our culture is aren't connected to it you understand what i'm trying to say yeah and so that's the game they've been running on us they making us feel like our culture that whole time the whole world is feeding off the shit and stealing exactly. it exactly big facts i thought interesting but I think one of the I wanted to use that research to play black and learn our culture right so now you have one or two to three generations of people doing that and now what used to be our culture is now being represented by a bunch of people who aren't necessarily connected to it you understand what I'm trying to say yeah Hey man, y'all better got them bang that like button one time for the game. Bang that like button, share the video out. Let's get 200 up in here. But I think one of the things that I kind of wanted to get to was that in the research that I did and understanding what went on in Australia, it helped me to understand and how the Europeans um, enacted colonization all over the world. And they have a process that they go through with each group. And each group is a different time into their... Uh, Australia mm -hmm. was colonized later than the Americas. But you can see how they were colonizing, how they were colonized via, via taking their children, purposely lining their skin by then in relation into their population. And then when they get to a point of, you know, people saying, no, you need to reparate us. They're like, well, now because you're white now. And then they integrate and just recycle those funds into themselves instead of actually doing what they really yeah. should do is to reparate the people. And every nation, whether it actually be or even in Asia, because they're very similar, they do the same. They do similar things over there as well. Um, but they're all on these, when they are trying to take over a nation, colonize a nation, different nations put that into practice. And I think and that I, it uh, might be helpful for people to understand that process so that they can look at different nations and see what point in the process each one is so that they can understand what's going on with them as well as that nation over there. Can I give you an alternative perspective on history? Here? Yeah. And I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be long. Right. All of us have been taught a certain narrative about history, how the European has come to certain land masses, right? right. Um what's the word? S aid and uh plundered and y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying not to get kicked off, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've seen their playbook or the alleged playbook that they have ran over the centuries, allegedly, right? right. Now, um, that's based off of the reconstructed history that we know today. But if we really start to really do the research on the history, we'll see that the people that we are thinking that are the colonizers, right? Mm -hmm. People who took the thing and running everything, just a few hundred years, I mean, not even, like even coming up into the 18 and 1900s, these people were being around the world, okay? Mm -hmm. So you, you got to ask yourself, like, okay, wait a minute now. The self comes from a specific in people, mm -hmm. okay? That term in itself, because of the enslavement that they went through for the amount of time that they went through it. Now, uh, oh, ironically... <laughs> These same people were enslaved and allegedly sent by the millions to a place called North Africa. Right? Mm -hmm. now, the big port. So, to an ethnic 
real quick game real quick let me see if i can clear this up as well as i need to get a light check i think i just seen somebody say we got 110 lights and 170 people in the building y'all got me fucked up in the game Don't game bang that light button god damn it All of my needs, they loyal you. you. We ain't the same, we ain't normal. We adore you. Adore you. Baby girl, I adore you. I go. Pretty face and she loyal you. So the fix your crime, girl, you roll you. We roll you. Adore you. All of my needs, they roll you. Adore you. All of my needs, they loyal you. Adore you. We ain't the same, we ain't normal. We adore you. Baby girl, I adore you. Bricks. Pretty face and she loyal you. So the fix your crime, girl, you roll you. We we. I just had to catch my breath. my breath. I just had to stack my checks. My checks. Shorty got ass, got blessed. Damn. 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 I just had to stack my chips. My chips. I just had to grab my grip. my grip. A lot of niggas mad I'm rich. I'm gonna have to smash they bitch. they bitch. Pull up in a max outfit. VLN on the logo, moving solo with the stick. Ooh. Block jumping like a pogo, come and pull up on the strip. Told her to pull up and get lit. So she pulled up and she stripped. Damn. 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 I don't need all the attention. I don't. I just need all of the pension Ran the bill up like a piston Wait Ooh. Told them but they didn't listen Fuck it, I teach them a lesson I ain't got time for the stressing Damn dog, is you kidding me? You know that we aborigines I'm give a fuck if you feeling me As long as you watch how you grilling me My knee G's making history Brother, some diamonds at Tiffany's She a carbon queen and she feeling me So you know she matching my energy All you gotta do is go look up etymology online go look up slave and it's gonna say see slav and you click on slav and you're gonna see that a slav is an ethnic group of people an eastern european group of people okay now these people were enslaved throughout africa throughout europe for hundreds of years okay i would like to even argue thousands okay these are the people who were being utilized to do all the labor. These are the people who were uh, being plundered and SA, okay, and shipped a bunch of places at a specific given time, okay? Mm -hmm. If it would make sense that if they are the so called alleged slaves, right, that they are going to intermit with the so called people or the populations in which they're doing work for. Even if you want to do some further research, go look up the first slaves. The first slaves in America was European people. Okay. So if we just understand that, wait a minute now, there are too there's too much evidence to say that there are European European people that are enslaved not only in Europe, but in Africa and in America, right? Even being mm -hmm. the so much right then mm -hmm. how much really pillaging did they do? like how right. much did they really just pull up and ride up and just take everything or was it a little bit more sophisticated than that were they the workers or the prisoners and eventually they took over the prison when you think about who was actually what families were around during enslavement a lot of the families that are now in in leadership um that are i don't know politicians and stuff a lot of them uh their parents weren't here 100 years ago yeah, so i just think just got during enslavement if they're white and they browner than what people would think they would look uh -huh. and it's kind of bizarre you know what you all right i'm having Technical difficulties over here, gang. Having technical, I mean, I mean, the motherfucking uh, the router is as close as it can get too. 
it is as close as you can get. See, I would feel some type of way if I paid for this. I would. I would feel some type of way. Yeah, I would. But it's okay. I got more for y'all. Check this out. Hold on. Let me, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can give y'all a little bit more of this while I set up the next shit. Uh, I got more. What y'all smoking on? I'm smoking some soap mixed with some cherry mints. Um, the first thing, if you want respiration, is to become a nation. You cannot be calling yourself Black Lives African American if you want respiration because those are not nationalities. So that's the first step. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. I agree. Mm hmm. Do, what do you need reparations for? Um. What do I need reparations for? Well, I'm just asking in general, like. Oh. What was? I think what, that it it that really depends case by case. Like my family had land. There are two instances where our family went and purchased land in mass because we're a big family. And both instances, they were attacked and run off their land. And I suppose we are still legal owners of the land, but the relatives who live in proximity cannot do anything about it because it was essentially a state sanctioned theft of their property. And it wasn't actually legal, but the community at the time didn't do anything about it. So in that regard, I would say our relatives would deserve reparations as in to be reparated by their for their land. That That's is ours. That's a fact. I agree. Um, okay, I just want to say something real fast. Um, me, personally, yeah. I don't really feel like melanated people in America are going to see reparations just for the simple fact. They could have been gave it to us if they could give it to us. You know, speaking about the elites and the people, the, you know, Virginia UN and the real people that's really controlling America or the United States Corporation, they could have been gave it to us. They didn't want, like, I have uh, landies for my family as well that I'm trying to get get access to. I could have been. The only well, way we're going to get reparations is if we take it, period. I think and it's like my it. sister. It's my I think it was like my sister at the top was saying. Yeah, Pin X when she was saying. Right. Like, you got to understand that uh, um, it's laws and procedures in a corporate infrastructure right so you got to do it in a proper format right um and make sure that you're in the proper arena on basically whatever your visual front and usually an individual going up against a corporation who you think gonna win most mm -hmm. of the time right so how we look and it's also about what you're trying to accomplish as well right we got plenty of people who done fought, got their people land back before. Gonna have people who done, you know, had their land taken. Like they're currently still, still and running. And was like you said, state sanctioned steps called eminent domain. Like they still do that. You know what's so funny? They always seem to run the highways through the black neighborhoods. Y'all ever notice that? Mm -hmm. I I personally think that the I think that the, what was I going to say? I think that the eminent domain issue comes in, like, the U.S. government doesn't actually own the land, like, none of it. So they can't actually sell it to you anyway. So, so they're leasing it to you for, and which is why they say, 
owe eminent domain and they snatch it back because they actually give it to you. So even if they give it to you, it was never yours because it already belonged to someone else. Well, well, well some, of, some of our grandparents yeah. have land patents, so this land is right. ours. Mm. Well, eminent domain it's a problem with highways or like things that they deem are to for the like you understand what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like use that as like a legal way to just steal your shit like basically alright gang I'm about to try some different shit real quick I'm about to try some different shit real quick See if we can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See if we can. Uh, I have a very unique upbringing that not okay. a lot of people were privileged to experience. Wait a minute, man. Many ceremonies met me. All right, god damn it! I think I figured it out. Dig it. Let's see how this interference be working. Let's see if Desmond. Can't beat me now, bitch. Yo zesty ass gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I feel like I figured this shit out, goddammit. I feel like I should figure this shit out. What them lights looking like, man? We got a light check. This this is live. This this they, they probably still live right now. If we get two hundred people in here, I might just ride over there and give y'all a motherfucking live motherfucking goddamn viewing of the natives on the TikTok safari, you know what I'm saying? But y'all got to get the motherfucking likes up and y'all got to get the motherfucking goddamn views up. That's just how it's going to go. But yeah, this is something I observed about probably an hour ago, hour and a half ago. This is very interesting to say the least. What's up, gang? gang? I see y'all in the building. Make sure y'all hit that like button, share the video out. And have always support the channel gang. No. And then they let me go. And I just went about living a normal ish life. And now I'm sitting here with basically. So my logistics and the way I think about things can be a little bit chaotic. I'll admit that. <clears throat> um, I have lived a pretty traditional life, given the fact that everything that I'm wearing has been given to me. The house I live in is given to me. Everything I own pretty much is given to me, save a few things that I bought for myself from work. So when I hear people where now I'm sitting here with basically a brain full of traditional knowledge. So my logistics and the way I think about things can be a little bit chaotic. I'll admit that. <clears throat> um, I have a pretty traditional life, given the fact that everything that I'm wearing has been given to me. The house I live in is given to me. Everything I own pretty much is given, given to me, save a few things that I bought for myself from work. So... When I hear people speak about genetics and DNA and melanin and skin color and race, my brain automatically deletes. Because according to me personally, people are these things to fight over land claim. And that's what I believe. When it comes to land claim, I don't believe anybody can claim land because the earth we stand on is alive itself, and to enslave that 
Earth is too it's because when you try to enslave Mother Earth, you are pretty much karmically indebted to her. And so I relate to you treat her is the way we treat ourselves. To a certain extent, I, I understand where you're coming from. And I agree with you. But we live in a society today where land is everything. Real estate is everything. Countries go to war for a little bit of land. And as indigenous people, I'm going to say in your case, maybe your tribes in the United States, Canada, Alaska, you guys been removed from your land and placed in reservations if you are maybe an, an American Indian of a reservation. South of the U.S. border, we don't. We had a fight for our land. You know, we fought to the, till we removed the Spanish. Lots of people died. So, I get what you mean. We can't clean the land. And today, indigenous people have been cut down. They used to be expanded throughout the region. And they're placed in lands that are that are not capable to sustain the people living in them. They depend on the system and oppressing them. So the first reservations took place. I have to fight for land today. I think we have to fight for every inch of land as indigenous people. And they've taken so much from indigenous people. We did in the past. We're going to have no land. We're going to have no land. Well, what I'm trying to get at is when you enslave the land, you enslave yourself. When you tear up the land, you kill people because when you tear up the land, you also tear up persons that will save people from the diseases that are this society today. And when you separate people from the land while and disconnecting them from the medicine and the bodies, everybody will essentially slowly start to fall apart. I agree with you as far as uh, I know you come from more of a spiritual um, perspective. Uh, but we still end up agreeing on things like, like I don't, I don't believe uh, no man, like no land can be owned by any, you know um, how we have to create. I was here before you were here, and is actually what is responsible for. To say that it belongs to us rather than we belong to it is uh, absurd, in my opinion. So I'm definitely agree with you on that part. But um, as far uh, there's a few things that like like the whole um, land land claim. I be I believe for many can school of thought for them it is, is a, about um wanting to uh make a claim for like, you have no choice to power above humanity because since uh god himself sent me here as jesus sword and since you are my perception the devil these niggas had a damn devil worship up on this mother <laughs> what the fuck hold on That's crazy. I got the video downloaded and it's still tweaking. Like it's still tweaking. That's crazy. And he said he came with. Man, he went into this whole little Satanist rant and shit. Yeah, 
sisters. Can you tell me the username again? Hold on. Then they had this white woman come up talking about protecting her indigenous sisters. Like, hold on, guy. Let me figure out how to work this shit. Because it's lagging. Hold on. I ain't never shared it like this before. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, can I work it up here? Oh, I can. Can I move it? What the fuck? I thought this was supposed to be better when you downloaded the video. Let's see. Past? We're going to have nowhere to go then. We're going to have no land. Hmm. Well, yourself. Tear up the land. And you kill people because when you tear up the land, you also tear up the medicines that will save people from. What? Um, appeared when I popped up. Oh, I yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, I can't guarantee. Um, his, his surname starts with an X. The guy who Why? Was from the guy who was from Canada who said that mm -hmm. he contact. I think him. Yep. Oh God. Um, and he actively stalks her still. She has restraining orders against him. She's tried to unalive herself twice. What he's done doing to her. So please do not give him. Man, the native problems. Sheesh. That's signet. Yeah, that's the host. Hey, right. This, this individual and what two yeah, braids does, yeah. It's just it's just I don't know where to go. Chasing Horse reached out to me, Nathan Chasing Horse, about a year ago. We were here on the live and ice cream and we had <sighs> conversations. He told me religious people were attacked him for uh, with his wives and all these, you know, that and I'm trying to listen, but even now he's claiming to be innocent in this court system. I mean, I followed, but I don't know. It's just, it's really sad and heartbreaking to, I don't want to talk of these things here. I'll, no, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I, this I, is, I just ask that you don't hard. give him a platform that's all and so I feel like skin can be indigenous but a people who is darker skin can also be me down it Yeah. Well, I can play video if you want. I'm Chuck Toe Indian. An indigenous woman and her story of what, like, what happened to her. So she. And again, like black people can be indigenous. It's like there are, there are a lot of amazing Afro indigenous on this app. That 
All right, I'm over this shit, gang. I ain't about to fight Desmond. He obviously went and I done downloaded the whole video. The shit is going from my screen, from my computer directly, and it's still acting trash. I'm out of this motherfucker. I'm not wasting my Saturday fighting Desmond. Goddamn. I'm going to holler at y'all later on. Uh, if y'all want to see some of the excerpts from the video, go to my TikTok. I'll edit it's some of these black clips. in Africa What's as well. So I think, like, yeah, no, I'm sorry, really no such thing. I'm sorry, I, I can't even stop. like stop, shut up. Damn, yeah, I'm out of here, gang. Yeah, they just making shit up over there, man. I can't, I, I ain't about to fight through these people about this goddamn live stream and shit till I find uh, a happy medium where I can do all the things I need to do. We're gonna be fighting these people. Uh, ugh. Yeah, man, I'm out of here, gang. I hope y'all have a great rest of the day. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.